Get out on the highway The high stepping in the town It's a rainbow full of sound It's fireworks, calliopes and lines Alright guys, here it is, part two Left you off right there on that walk down We've gotten up to there yet if you haven't Check out my first video before this. I have a part one that leads up to this part. And if you haven't already, also subscribe for more walk downs and walk ups and diddlies and everything else that you want to hear. Hit that subscribe button. So let's go from that one more time to the walk down. After that, you go into the A6 walk down. Everybody's dancing. He goes from A6, so it's A. Or an F sharp minor, whichever one you wouldn't consider it. F sharp minor inversion. Um, so open A this entire time. You do these chords, and then this one is the ring finger on the D string on the seventh, and then the middle finger on the G string on the sixth, and then the pinky on the seventh on the B string. So that's the first. Everybody's and basically you're just walking these two notes they're keeping keeping these two notes the entire time your ring finger and your middle finger stay the same the entire time and then you walk down this note while keeping these two the entire time so you're gonna go and then you he yeah, adds in this note at the very end while keeping these notes. And then from this A6, you move down to this B note on the seventh, moves down to the sixth, sharing the same fret as your middle finger. So everybody's dancing. And then regular A, where this B string moves down to the fifth, so just seventh, sixth, fifth. Everybody's dancing. This one's a little tough. It's, uh, it's from the fifth on the B, move down to the fourth. While these are still staying the same, but you're gonna switch your fingers from your ring finger and your middle finger. How they were staying the same the entire time, right here. You're gonna switch to it being your pinky and your ring finger are gonna be right here. Okay. So from this, you're gonna go to that on the last chord. It's like an E chord. If you do the E variation right here, it looks like rain E. And move this down. I'd move every string just down a string. If you move it up, it's a B. B sus. <laughs> I guess no, that's not really true. It's a... But yeah, it was the, it looks like rain E. Move it down. Move every string down. So it's the pinky on the seventh, D, and then the ring on the sixth, what is that, the G? So those are the two notes that are staying the same. And then you're walking from the, from that on the next string, it's the B, you have that on the fourth, and then your um, middle finger is on the fifth on the B, on the E string. Basically, the walk down for the people that know the, co the chords. So that's that part. And then from there, you go to B flat. So. And then, you f so the B flat variation, the same as the A on the 7th and 5th, 7th, 6th, and 5th. Just move it up to the B flat. And then the little trick he does on the B flat is basically take your 6th fret up to the 7th on the B. And then go from the um, minor to the major on the A after that. 
notes of the uh, from the B flat. So get those two down after. So I'm gonna do it slow with you. Seven, D seven nine. So it's a D note on the A string, second string, fifth fret, fourth string D, or fourth fret on the D, third string, and then fifth fret on the G ring finger. So that's the D seven, and then you add the pinky to make it the nine. part of that walk down before he starts to come on children but that's a it's like I don't know eight or nine chord one two three four five six seven that's eight chords before he starts singing yeah so it's basically just a walk down of single notes but he does all chords behind it that's the whole concept of the rhythm so it's gonna, it might take you a little bit to get those, it's switching back and forth a lot on those. And so that's a big chunk of the, the chorus that's some nice inversions. So one more time, I'll do it slow for you. Okay, so once you get that, Go right back, slide from G right back into the A minor. So just slide right into A instead of starting an A major. Now he's doing an A minor walk down. So, come on, children, come on, children, come on, grab your hand. So, this concept is keeping the bottom now and moving the top. Last time you kept the top, then moved the bottom. This time you're keeping the bottom, keeping the entire time and moving. This top note. So, come on, children, come on, children, come on, clap your hands. So the way to do that is, um, bar these bottom three with your index finger, right? On the on the fifth fret, G, B, and E, and then the D string is the A note on the seventh fret on the D string, and then you play open A with it, just like you're playing in the last segment, you just do the open, all, all the notes on the A, and then you use your middle finger to walk down from that. Okay. And then you bar all four, now you're barring all three, so when you walk down from your ring to your middle, and then now you're barring your whole index and then you take your ring finger and bar the bottom three and take your index and do the on the fourth fret D string and the bar in the bottom three. These bottom three stay the same the entire the entire time. Jump, which is going to be the next part, part three. 
got to break my videos up into 10, 10 minute segments, but I'm going to be on it, guys, so don't worry. So the next, after the... So you do the diminished chord, which is um, 6th fret, A string, 7th fret, D string. So 6th fret, A string with your middle finger. 7th fret, D string with your ring finger. G string on the 5th fret with your index finger. And 7th fret of the B string with your pinky finger. And once you get that down, then you, I've seen versions of him barring this whole thing. It's tough, but it's worth the practice. But we'll start with this one for right now, it's a little bit easier. And then that EF first touch in the beginning when you do. You just slide onto that E after the diminish. For this, but get that part down. All right, see you in a little bit. <laughs> 